What's up, University TV fans? I'm Shayna, and today we're at California State University, San Bernardino. Come join me on my tour. San Bernardino is nestled at the foothills of the San Bernardino Mountains. Because of its great location in Southern California, students are just steps away from mountain resorts for skiing, camping, boating, and hiking. We're right in the middle of uh, an area where you can go up to the mountains. You can be up in the mountains in minutes. You can literally walk out the back door. We can be at the beach within an hour and a half, which is really quite something. Cal State San Bernardino has been recognized as one of the most beautiful campuses, with the mountains, the lush trees, and the wide green spaces surrounded by modern buildings. I think it's a really pretty campus. It's still a place where there's lots of wide open spaces, and you can find that cup of coffee, and you can find a very quiet place to go and sit on a really nice day and study or take a nap or just meditate before you go to class. And I think that's really important to somebody who's going to college is the opportunity to just ramp down for a few minutes. San Bernardino weather is awesome. Uh, it's usually sunny. There's probably just a, a week or two of really hard rain for, but I think the weather is perfect for anything that you want to do outdoors and it just keeps you in the mood to wake up in the morning and go to school. <laughs> Cal State San Bernardino's Robert B. Fullerton's Art Museum is a fine art showcase and home to one of the finest privately held collections of Egyptian antiquities in the world. San Bernardino is a large school with more than 17,000 students, yet impressively their student to faculty ratio is a low 23 to 1. The student population is one of the most diverse in California, with not a single ethnic majority group on campus. Women represent 65% and men 35%. All students with a 3.0 GPA automatically qualify no matter what their SAT or ACT score. Those with a 2.0 GPA need to receive at least an SAT of 1300 or a 30 ACT score. Non-resident students are required to have an even higher eligibility index. In-state, students will pay about $4,800 in tuition, while those coming from out-of-state will pay more in non-resident fees. More than 70% of all CSUSB undergrads receive some level of financial aid, and nearly 60% of full-time undergrad students have their fees completely paid for. I think that's a big deal for students that you don't really think about while you're in school, but afterwards when you have all those student loans coming in, you think, man, <laughs> what did I get myself into? So I think if you can get the same education that you can get in an Ivy League school or at a bigger um, university, why not just come here and do it and save yourself some money? The university offers more than 70 programs and certificates organized into five academic colleges. Many of their programs have earned specialized national accreditation. At Cal State had the one of the top psychology departments in the nation. It was actually ranked 13th. The university is recognized as one of the nation's largest teacher training institutions. Majors most popular among students are nursing, psychology, liberal studies, criminal justice, communications, and biology. Department of Biology, uh, three or four years ago, every single student who applied to medical school got in. A 100% success rate, which is unheard of. Western University of Health Sciences Medical School uh, actually has an articulation with the biology department. Students actually get into medical school as sophomores at Cal State San Bernardino uh, because they have so much respect for our biology program. It's a really terrific program. Cal State San Bernardino has 467 full-time faculty members and more than 50% are tenured and serve on various prestigious national committees, associations, and editorial boards. Despite budget cuts, we have clung to our, our, our student-faculty ratios and our teaching labs tenaciously. Whereas lots of institutions have gotten rid of laboratories, we have not. And because of that, our students do really well when they go to things like dental school and medical school and so on. They go into the laboratories there with experience. And a lot of our students go to those places, they're number one where they go. Eleven Coyote teams compete in the NCAA Division II. Collectively, they have captured 14 conference championships and nine regional titles. The men's basketball and women's volleyball team are nationally ranked year after year. 34 athletes have earned All-American awards, and two have been named Players of the Year. And the cross-country team has won nine consecutive All-American awards. CSUSB has three separate student housing complexes, ranging from traditional dormitories to luxurious apartment-style units with a total of more than 1,500 beds. I never left home before, first time living on my own and everything. So it got kind of crazy at first, but it was definitely fun. Um, met a lot of people. Um, it was just a great, great atmosphere to be in. 
San Bernardino offers more than 100 student organizations, giving you the opportunity to get involved and learn leadership skills. With the rec center, they have intramural sports, football, baseball, um, also outdoor programs they have. Just don't go to class and go back to your dorm or back to home. Definitely get involved, look at different clubs on campuses, um, fraternities, sororities, or anything that just makes the college that much more fun. So if you're looking for a young, vibrant university, high in value and quality education, take a second look at California State University San Bernardino. Thanks so much for joining us here at California State University San Bernardino. See you next time.